Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Happy Sunday, gorgeous folks, and thank you again for tuning in for the second part of this amazing recipe. So yesterday I did upload a video on how to make your salted fish stock, which is going to be one of the base of flavors we're going to infuse into this incredible, ever so green spinach soup, locally known in Ghana as Ebunu Ebunu. But this is not any other soup. And this is the soup that is packed with some ketchup and flavors. Gagbomnale, okay, mini, usiteng. So for this recipe, I'm using smoked guinea fowl. You can use your smoked turkey or chicken if you don't have access to the guinea fowl. But I'll tell you something. The flavor is incredible. So what inspired this? So during my childhood in Ghana, when a spent hen is killed, usually when it's dressed, you will find some eggs in it, which used to be the yolk. And I used to watch how they carefully place the yolk aside and then it's added to the soup. And the flavor of that lye soup is just incredible. So I wanted to emulate that, but of course, with that sort of smoky, gamey taste that usually Ebunu Ebunu is known for. Let's start. So here I've got my guinea fowl pieces and to that I'm adding my blended ginger and garlic mixture. I did not include aniseed in this because I wanted to emulate that gamey, but equally light, and just naturally packed with flavor sort of soup now if you watch my previous video about the kobe this is exactly what i'm doing here so i'm just going to scoop two tablespoonful of this amazing kobe stock so it has this umami flavor yet again i don't want that flavor to overpower it so i'm just using two tablespoonful so you are going to get that sort of earthy taste in it and also get that gamey taste and you've got this sort of umami flavor that's going to pass through but because it's not too much it's just so next i've just added my cassava pepper as you saw earlier and then i'm adding about a liter of water to this because i'm creating a stock the stock is what makes a difference so I've done stock one, now we're doing stock two. <laughs> so bear in mind, of course, the guinea fowl is smoked. So that smoky taste of it is just going to infuse into the stock, as well as that gamey flavor. Absolutely. So now I'm just going to add one whole onion. And um, on a medium heat, I'm just going to cover this. Now, if you do remember, mom would always say, you know, your saucepan and everything has to look clean. So I always have this habit of making sure that I clean it. And I'm just going to allow this to simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now my onion has softened up perfectly. And I'm going to blend this together with the cassava peppers. In the absence of your cassava pepper, you can use any green chili of your choosing or any chili of your choosing. You can use habanero or petit bell chilies known as black bushito as well. And yes, I'm just going to blend that till it's nice and smooth. And guess what? I'm just going to add that again to the stock. So of course with guinea fowl, it does, is tough. So I need the meat to soften up. And at this stage, that onion flavor is just going to infuse into the meat and it's going to make it slightly sweeter. So it's smoky. It's also gamey, but not too much. And now you've got that sweetness coming from the onions. It's just going to be incredible. You can just tell. Now, of course, this is in Dubai for far. I had to add my Huang Tian, which is also known as grains of saline to it. And it's going to give it this sort of musky black peppercorn sort of flavor. And that's just beautiful. You can also include some African nutmeg if you wish, definitely. 
But I'm just leaving it as this. And I think this is why I was just playing, you know. I was just loving the swell. And I'm like, okay, let me just use the lid to play around. Just to allow that swell to permeate through my kitchen. Because if your food smells good, you definitely know that it's going to taste better. Now it's raining some hailstones of salt. I think I've taken this salted thing to the next level now. Because of course, it's splashing everywhere. And I'm just going to mix everything till it's well combined. I'm going to leave it to simmer, but not before I do add my eggs. This is going to simmer for another 20 minutes, allowing the flavors to infuse into those eggs as well. As I always say, this is not any other food. Now, let's move on to our spinach. So I got this frozen spinach from Iceland, which I find incredible. It's cheaper and of course it does last. To that, I've got my cassoir peppers and an onion because I'm going to blend all that together. So you see, you've got that sweetness and that spiciness coming through. And that also flavors, you know, this spinach in that sense. No, no, don't worry. All this is going to go in. So I've added a bit of water and I'm just going to be blending this till it's nice and silky, smooth and just green. Mm -hmm. After 20 minutes... My guinea fowl and eggs are ready for me to add my beautiful green spiced spinach that's just blended and it's silky smooth. Look at this. Is your mouth not watering already? Apart from the obvious reason in terms of how nutritious this is, you know, because guinea fowl in itself, it's lean, it's a lean meat. And then you've got the spinach as well. Now, you notice that I'm cooking this on a very low heat. I don't want to overcook the spinach and I don't want to lose all the nutrients. So this is just going to simmer for about three to four minutes. Yes, just to allow the flavors to combine and say, hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Nice meeting you. Yes, and in doo-doo spot. Yeah, let's uh, marry ourselves. Don't do now, sitting. Okay, we need to go a little is your mouth not watering look at that especially in this cold winter weather this is exactly what you need now i need to revive that flavor so i'm just adding one teaspoonful of my ginger and garlic blend because the song's coming to the end of this and that just revives it it gives it that refreshing sort of little warmth that this dish requires so yeah this is almost can you believe it? So you've got that sort of Kobe flavor coming through. But then when I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm happy with this. I had to add my little ketchup. How would you know it's in Jujubai for five? I don't do my ketchup things. Una, just watch. Now, I am going to enjoy my soup just the way it is. I'm not going to add any carbohydrates because I just like it that way. However, you can serve this with your yam fufu, plantain fufu, your normal fufu, some boiled rice, yam, potatoes. It's incredible. Naturally, I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter as Indudu by Fafa. So do pass by and say hi. Norel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until next time, kings and queens, be healthy, be nice, be kind. 
be thoughtful and I love you for you.